In this video, you will learn how to create your own personal student's T distribution table in Excel. Let's start with the step by step process to create the T table in Excel. For that, first open a spreadsheet in Excel. In step 1, create two separate rows for the one tail and the two tail alpha values, where the one tail alpha values represent the area lying on one tail of the T distribution and the two tail alpha values represent the area lying on both tails of the T distribution. In the one tail row, you can insert any value of alpha between 0 and 0 0.5 and multiply these one tail alpha values by a factor of 2 to get the alpha values for the two tail row. Here I use the most common values of alpha. In step 2, make a column for the degrees of freedom values. You can insert any value you want. These degrees of freedom decide the shape of the T distribution. In step 3, in cell B4 use the Excel inbuilt function t.inv.2t which requires two arguments, probability and the degrees of freedom. For the probability argument select cell B2 then press the F4 button if using Windows, the command plus T button if using Mac and then for the degrees of freedom argument, select the cell A4. Now select this value containing the formula and drag it to the right to fill out all the other values. Now for each other cell in this row, go to the formula bar, and then you have to change the position of the probability and degrees of freedom manually. In step 4, select the entire row and drag it down to the bottom to automatically calculate the values for the other cells. Now if you want to insert a column for the different values of alpha, just copy an existing column and insert the copied cells between two columns where the alpha value lies. and insert the alpha value for one tail and two tail rows. Then, in the cell containing the formula for the degrees of freedom of one, manually change the probability and degrees of freedom argument values and drag it down to the bottom.